Yo, c'est Burry on se retrouve pour une nouvelle vidéo sur Life is Strange 2. C'est la douzième vidéo. Et on part sur euh, une super musique. Magnifique. Quelle intro pour cette deuxième vidéo. Magnifique. Très belle musique. Qui nous met dans l'ambiance. Et apparemment, on est arrivé à Beaver Creek. Là où se trouvent normalement <coughs> les grands-parents de Sean We made et it, Daniel. Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Espérant que tout se passe bien. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. Hmm. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation or, or something? We'll figure out something. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of. Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my. Is that Daniel? 
What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Le père, il a pas le père. Le grand père, il a un peu moins content de nous voir apparemment. Hein. <rire> il faut, il faut toujours qu'il y en ait un des deux qui ne soit pas, qu soit pas content. On verra ce qui se passe. Allez. bien qu'ils mettent des trucs Merry Christmas et tout, ça veut dire qu'on est pas loin, on est proche de Noël. Donc ça veut dire que ça fait déjà... Euh, hey, ça fait deux it, mois uh, presque. Warm enough for you? Oh yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Doing. He'll be fine. Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay the night. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Do we really want to involve I remember that. I think it used to be in the feel so awkward to be here. A police officer was killed. Yeah. Claire, you know. Our grandchildren are one. <sighs> Fuck. I Did I make a mistake coming here? Someone is guilty. Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll figure something out. Okay? Je ne parle pas littéralement anglais, mais je comprends un peu ce qu'ils disent quand même. Et je pense qu'ils sont un peu... Ils sont entre deux zones là. Mais comme j'ai dit tout à l'heure, grand-père, il n'a pas l'air très chaud. Hein. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station? <laughs> Bullshit. Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad, Sean. We have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? We had no choice. The cops would have blamed me for everything. I know it. Well, Sean, now the police do blame you. You know the police would separate us. 
Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Ah, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen, maybe we should after your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Whoa, really? Uh, aren't you scared? The police already called you. Lordy, yes. But we were also scared for you. That's why you'll have to be careful around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. Ouais. L'histoire du grand-père, là, je suis pas... Je suis pas emballé. Alors il a l'air sincère et tout, mais je pense qu'au bout d'un moment il va appeler les flics, c'est obligé. Mais bon, pour l'instant on va se concentrer sur l'histoire et euh, ce qui se passe actuellement. How do you feel, Super Wolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here, and the food, yum. Yeah, feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah, I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so, are we ready to pray? <laughs> Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um. And Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh. Everybody else. Oh my. You are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. <laughs> well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, does it hurt? Nah. It's kind of itchy, though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway... Remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight. Little cub. Ah, on se pose cet épisode quand même, on se pose, on se pose, et on se pose des questions aussi. L'avenir est incertain. Beaver Creek, Oregon, une semaine plus tard. Bon bah ça va, il y a comme une semaine qui s'est passée déjà. Et... Mister Daniel n'est plus dans le lit. Il est en chaussette. Oh man, I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. Hmm. <laughs> That's cool, Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. Oh, man. I miss that dirty little dog. So much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. <laughs> C 
Claire wanted to throw her clothes away, but we convinced her that with some sewing and cleaning, it would be enough. <laughs> That's a cool memento of our secret cabin in the woods. <laughs> Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. <laughs> Daniel was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Hmm. Oula. C'est quoi ça? Vieille bâche. Avec cette bâche, on sera au sec, même si ça met à pleuvoir ou à neiger en cours de route. Mm -hmm. Crocodisque. What? Ah oui, c'est le truc qu'il a, qu a pris avec, c'est vrai. Sous-marin spatial, ok. Putain de flippant. Pour <rire> de rien. Et la gourde, ok. Euh, ouais. Du coup, le sac de chêne. Il nous reste encore 9 dollars 3, ok. On a encore les capotes. <rire> ça, ça peut servir au cas où. Clé de la maison. Je me demande si notre maison est devenue une attraction locale après ce qu'il s'est passé. Je sais pas si j'arriverai à y retourner. Tu m'étonnes. Je l'ai trouvé dans une des chambres. J'ai enfin le temps de lire maintenant. <rire> tu m'étonnes. Alors, il y a de la lecture, c'est cool. Ok, donc c'est à partir de là que j'avais pas, j'avais pu regarder le. C'est 33 il a fait Oh vache je... hein Ok, on est arrivé début décembre quand même chez eux. <rire> T'es ça <rire> Oh dieu. Oh là là. Règle des Reynolds. Discrétion, ne sortez pas de la maison. Déconnexion, pas de téléphone, pas d'internet. Corvée quotidienne. Devoir pour Daniel, côté de rire. <rire> Bonne chance, Claire. <rire> Mort d'ennui, je leur suis reconnaissant, mais j'ai besoin de sortir. Faut penser à la suite. Pas de détente pour les braves. Hmm. Ouais, sympa les dessins.
<laughs> yep. Daniel knows how to milk Grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. <laughs> All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Huh. Sean, finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay. Okay. Choo choo. So careful, Chief. They're going too fast. We have to. We're late on schedule. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> I don't care. Faster. I'm glad they get along so good. Daniel's definitely the ideal grandson. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. It feels so good to be safe at last. <sighs> Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. <sighs> I can't believe they fixed it. Come on. And she kept it. Get this train to Seattle by noon. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the change from our last home. They have so many pills and stuff to take. Sucks to be old. What you mean? Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. <laughs> Saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. I used to hate brushing my teeth, <laughs> just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? Ouais, ça c'est la survie. Pas le choix. Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Choo-choo! Oh, careful, Chief. Going too fast. We have to. We're late on schedule. <sighs> it's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. <laughs> this used to be Karen's room. Hmm. Wonder what they've done with it. Steven doesn't like us in here when he's away. Oh, man, Claire's food smells so good. I'm starving. Hold your breath. Whoa, we made it. Hmm? 
Nathaniel seems so happy to be here. Good. Ah, y a pas de poisson. Man, Claire's food smells so good. I'm starving. Come down, come down. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bad. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. You can sit down, Sean. Okay. Aren't you hungry? Si, si, j'ai faim, mais je suis curieux surtout. Daniel, mmh. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me your pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> But thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> ah, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Hmm. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe. Unlike the big city. Huh. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand. Like to Charles next door. He lost his wife and... Huh. Things have been hard on him and his son. Huh. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. <laughs> cool. Moi je sais qui. on back there nothing oh <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater hey grandma I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it Daniel why were you in it this morning then because there's a lot of old junk in there and Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. 
stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. It's cool. I don't care. She left us anyway. Yes, Sean. She left all of us. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Et ben nous on va s'arrêter là pour cette vidéo, j'espère qu'elle vous aura plu. On est enfin arrivé dans un endroit plutôt cool, a priori. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. Daniel's going nuts in here. Et du coup ben on verra ce qui se passe lors de la prochaine vidéo. Et puis euh, on verra aussi euh, qui sont les voisins. Moi j'ai ma petite idée mais à mon avis... Ça va être plutôt cool. Bref, sur ce, portez-vous bien et à la prochaine. Ciao